What's going on guys? Coach Madden, YougoProBaseball.com. I'm here with the man, Josh Cathcart, the baseball doctor, if you haven't seen him. What's going on? Instagram, YouTube, you gotta check him out. I'll leave the link in the description. We're here in Pearland, Texas, at the Hardball Academy. And I just wanted to get Josh on because he's got some really good stuff online. And in this video, we're gonna talk about his favorite hitting drills. He's got a bunch of them, but I want to know, what are your favorite hitting Man, drills? Man, the, the four that I usually go to, I have what well, we have a one knee down, okay? And it's going to be a balance and stabilization. It's just being able to make your swing, stay through it, be balanced all the way through. Then we also have a walkout drill, which is going to be directional, staying through the ball, you know, chest down, kind of backside through it and everything else. Then we're going to have a high tee. All right, up and in, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all where that one goes, okay? Just up and in. If you turn and kind of half batted it where the barrel would get there, okay, that's just a little example of that one. And then hip coil drill, being able to sink and coil the hip at the same time without having a pushback or a real bad misdirection um, with the upper half. So those are gonna be the four that we're gonna cover. If we wanna go ahead and get into the first one, that one's gonna be the knee down, okay? So, standard setup, T's gonna be here in the middle, just like a fastball, about belt high, high thigh. And then I have a medicine ball. You can use a box, you could use a soft you know, foam block, but for this one, I just have the medicine ball centered in the, between the body, okay? Now, I always like to get into launch position with these drills, these stationary T drills. I like to get into a launch position. Okay, let's cover launch again real quick because everything starts from launch. We've talked about the importance of launch and everything else. As a hitting instructor and as a player, okay, it really doesn't matter how you stand here. You can stand feet with the hands high. You can stand wider with the hands low. None of that really matters to me. What we're looking for is a consistent and on-time launch position, okay? So launch position, body kind of centered here, space between, knob to the catcher, all right? That is your launch position. It is universal. There may be a little bit of hand movement or a hand you know, placement difference, but other than that, pretty standard. All right, so for this, I'm gonna come here from launch, just making good solid swing and being able to go right down into this okay what you are looking for is that we now have the head shoulder hip knee going straight down okay if you are able to pull this off and go straight down into balance you know that we're nice and centered okay you may see this miss where we get out over the front and now they have to kind of reset and come back. That's not what you're looking for, okay? Another miss that we see a whole lot of is kind of this fallback miss where they come here and it's kind of falling back and now we've got to reset and come down, all righty? So one more time, back knee down from launch position and then straight down, having balance with our body. All right, for this one, this is gonna be our walkout drill. This is all about direction, okay? I have conversations pretty much daily with my hitters about maintaining direction and being able to hold direction through the swing. There's a lot of mistakes that can be made up for if you have proper direction. The combination of good timing and good direction makes for a really good hitter. Okay, so right here on the ground, this is just a regular piece of PVC. We just happen to paint it red. Okay, the way that I set this up is it's gonna be right off the back toe and then angled to the front inside corner of home plate and kind of down toward the first baseline. Alrighty, now this is gonna be just a regular swing and I'm gonna swing over the top of this the first time. So it would be through Swing here, and then we want to basically be able to walk out in the direction of first base, okay? If you were able to do that, we know that our chest is going to be on the ball at contact. We're staying through it. We do not have here, and then this big pull off of it, okay? 
really maintaining that direction. Kind of right center is the idea. One of the cues that I use for our young guys is kind of right hand, right hip, right center. And that would kind of be this action where we get going this way. Okay, gets us to the inside of the ball and then just walk it out. Okay, this is a really good warm up drill. One of the things that we want to avoid as a young hitter, well, as any hitter, but for our young guys especially, is that swing and where we get on our heels and kind of start working back from the baseball. Okay, we want to really think about meeting out front a little bit, kind of chest open to the center, and then having everything just work in this direction. Alrighty, so that's gonna be your walkout drill. The next one that we're gonna do is a high T, which is up and in. This is gonna work on staying connected at the top and really being able to turn properly without losing the barrel, without falling back out of posture, all right? T and where you set it up is so important. I see young kids, they come in here and they get on the T and they just kinda, of, they'll set it back here somewhere or they'll be on the inside pitch and they'll set it here on the plate. Make sure that you understand the contact points, okay? Inside is gonna be more out in front. Middle, middle would be right here. And then outside is gonna be on that outer third and a little deeper. So for this high inside, I'm gonna raise that tee up. If you look at this, this is just about nipple high, chest high here, okay? get in the regular stance. The first time I want to think about just kind of turning this front elbow inside of this, okay? And just basically turning to get the barrel to contact. I talk a lot about holding angles, okay? Both in the front arm and in the rear arm. You'll notice if I get set right here, I form kind of this box with the bat coming off of the right shoulder into this front arm and then up. I want to maintain that box. And as I start to turn, hold the box, hold the box, hold the box. And then we, we would release and get that barrel there. Okay. If the student can start to pull this one off without having to fall back to create space, this is what you're looking for. All right. Again, if you get a little bit more advanced or you get a hitter that's really good with this drill, you can basically combine this one with the walkout. You get right here and you should be able just to go straight into that, okay? There shouldn't be any fall back here. There shouldn't be any lunging with the head. What you will see most common is kids that are trying to create space for themselves, all right? This is a little bit of a tougher concept for young guys, but if I'm right here, I've got a certain amount of space to get this swing off, okay? Most guys are gonna start lunging at this a little bit, coming forward to try to get there. And then they realize, I don't have any more room. And so they end up backing out of the way of this. All right, not what you're looking for. We wanna be able to turn right here and not have any fallback or misdirection. Okay, so this is your high inside T drill. Really, really good. This is pretty standard as a warm up for all my guys pretty much every day, okay? The last one that we're going to do, and one that I use at all my camps, and I usually test guys with this. This is more of an athleticism, see where you're at kind of drill, and then we'll start to work on it as we get into more hip load and coil. I'm going to use these rings, just kind of set my feet right. Everybody always asks me, where's the 45 degree come? Okay, think about it like this, and then this. Here's my angle. It's not this back angle. People always get confused about it and ask me, well, what are you 45 to? Okay, I'm 45, imagine here and here. Alrighty. So for this one, set up in that 45. People have talked about hip coil, okay, hip load, however it is. The one thing that you want to avoid is pushing up or pushing back off of your front foot, okay? To load, it's not a front foot and push action, okay? We're not getting going this way. It's down and kind of around with this. And then it's a reaction of the front foot. As I'm starting to coil back and down, the front foot's just gonna start to come up a little bit.
For this one, I'm gonna exaggerate it because I am at 45 degrees. If this is done correctly for your players and you need to check with them, it's not gonna feel real good right here the first couple times. They're really gonna feel this hip and glute engaging, okay? So let's go ahead, it's gonna be sit and coil, sit and coil, and now this time this front leg's gonna come up almost into a leg kick position. Hold, and then through, all right? Make sure when you are done that we're back to this square position, all right? I don't wanna come in here coil down, get up, and then bail back out. Now I'm all pulled off, and I don't want to overdo it where I come up and then I end up stepping in because now I've shut my hips off and I get stuck. Okay, back to that not having enough space thought. So one more time with this. Set up, 45 degree, sit and coil, sit and coil. Notice the box is still set, and then up and through. Always check balance at the end. Okay, that's one more thing for young guys. Always check and make sure that you can hold this position. If you're balanced at the end of your swing, there's a pretty good chance that everything was right through the swing. All right? If your timing's off, that's a whole different story. However, if we're balanced at the end, pretty good indication that the swing's in a good spot. Those are awesome yeah, hitting ma drills. Um, Long-winded. <laughs> Thank you for that information uh, yeah. for these guys. There's a couple things I want you guys to do. Number one is check out his YouTube channel, uh, Baseball Doctor. I'll leave a link down below where you can go and subscribe. He's got a bunch of drills. These were just four, four amazing hitting drills, but he's got so much more uh, information on there for you guys for free. So definitely go check it out. Subscribe to his channel, okay? Um, also, if you're in the Houston, Texas area, uh, Pearland is just south of that, so come by, check them out. Great facility. You guys can uh, train with the man himself, okay? Uh, again, I'll leave all the information where you can get a hold of Josh down there. And uh, thanks for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. Leave a comment down below. Let us know which of these hitting drills was your favorite. Uh, and we'll, uh, we're going to shoot some more videos for you yeah, guys. Yeah, man. So we'll tuned. have some more coming out. Thank you all.